With blood stocks depleting year in and year out, the NHS Blood and Transport Service has launched yet another campaign this week to find 10,000 new blood donors across the Northwest in 100 days. Now has never been a more prudent time for surgeons to apply autotransfusion techniques such as cell salvage whilst carrying out surgery. Cell salvage is the technique that has been used since 1818 of simply vacuuming up blood that is lost during surgery, cleaning it in a centrifuge and pumping it back into the body. But it's not just a cost-effective way of monitoring blood stocks. There are huge health benefits to the process. Professor Charles McCollum is one of the country's leading authorities on cell salvage techniques. We started using cell salvage because there is no question that giving stored blood uh, has a number of disadvantages for patients and so that every patient benefits from not having stored blood if it can be avoided. It does help reduce the complications of surgery. It requires a little bit more effort and a little bit more planning to, to have an autologous transfusion strategy that works, but for surgeons it reduces the complications associated with surgery you would only use cell salvage when you're likely to use more than perhaps three pints or, or a, a litre and a half of blood. Um, and if there is going to be a blood loss greater than that, then cell salvage really comes into its own because the product is the patient's own blood, which is free, but you still have to pay for the equipment and the consumables with each time you use cell salvage, which becomes cost effective as soon as you're transfusing more two units of blood. Here in the Northwest, cell salvage is forming a large part of patients' options when planning surgery. Sarah Haynes is the coordinator of autologous transfusion at Withenshaw Hospital. I think we've come a long way um, in quite a short period of time. There's been a lot of emphasis on the on appropriate use of blood and use of alternatives, and that and that's come centrally from the Department of Health. And I think that's had a big, quite a big impact on on looking at these alternatives and cell salvage has become one of the mainstays of our um, um, of something that we're now calling patient blood management. Basically to have a tailored approach um, for an individual patient in relation to their surgery and the, the anticipation of any blood loss and how that would be managed and there's lots of things within that which is um, you know the surgical technique to reduce the amount of blood that's lost um, an optimisation of the patient to make sure that they're in prime condition before they have their surgery so that they've got a high enough uh, blood count in the first place and then to utilise techniques like cell salvage intraoperatively or postoperatively and send various uh, drugs and, and pharmacological agents to reduce the blood loss around the time of their surgery to put them in the best shape after the surgery so that they can recover and have a minimum amount of complications. One of these patients awaiting surgery is Katrina. But there's another side to Katrina's story. She's one of Jehovah's Witnesses, and cell salvage has enabled many other witnesses like Katrina to have major surgery and reduce many risks involved in surgery where blood transfusion isn't an option. Katrina is awaiting an operation any day now to remove three aneurysms in her body, a 10-hour operation that is full of risks and made more dangerous due to her strict religious beliefs. As one of Jehovah's Witnesses, I um, try to adhere to what the Bible says and specifically God tells us in his word not to have blood, in fact to abstain from blood. So it's something that I believe in and I follow. Well, there's a risk with any operation, but because they're operating on arteries, um, it's, there's a higher risk, um, which is why um, they've got in place the cell salvage machine um, in both operating areas which they're going to be using. Oh, it makes a big difference for Jehovah's Witnesses because as you know that they um, believe that any blood that's been removed from the body has to be cast to the ground and so that um, for them there are many major procedures that simply couldn't be done without using an autologous transfusion strategy to to uh, maintain their own blood and to reuse any blood that they uh, lose so that they can uh, survive the complications of major surgery. The first surgeon approach thought Katrina's operation was too risky without the use of a blood transfusion and refused to go any further. But the Jehovah's Witness Hospital Liaison Committee researched their database to find a solution. 
So, so in the in the case with Katrina, that her operation was very complex, and in the initial meeting with the the surgeon, he was clear that they they were not able to do this operation without blood. So, we accepted their their view of that, and we we wrote out to our confidential registrar of surgeons who were prepared to some of who would be prepared to perform even a difficult operation without blood. And then we, we had um, two who said they'd be prepared to become involved. And the particular surgeon who did the operation, he headed up the team. And they performed some complex surgery. In fact, it was pioneering surgery without blood. For any patient, regardless of religious beliefs, Cell salvage has a number of benefits over blood stored from a blood bank and studies have found post-operative recovery is speeded up. I've been involved in projects with health economists looking at this in the past. If you have your own blood back um, and avoid the complications of allogeneic blood, not that they're particularly obvious complications, it may be that you get out of hospital a day earlier. You may, might recover in a, in a more timely manner. That is very valuable to the hospital because somebody has to then come come back into into that come into that bed that you've just vacated a day a day earlier, and we can get more patients through in a year. We can treat more patients if they're leaving hospital earlier. Due to concerns over the CJD virus being transmitted through donated blood, anyone who has had a blood transfusion can no longer donate. If you've had a transfusion, um, you can no longer be a blood donor. So if we stop patients having the odd, especially young, healthy patients, so maternity patients, for example, if we can avoid them having one or two units of blood um, by using cell salvage, if they're a blood donor, they can continue being a blood donor. With the surgery a complete success, Katrina is back at home within nine days and well enough to enjoy being back with her family, thanks in part to cell salvage. So, four and a half weeks after the operation, Katrina, and you look fantastic, you're glowing. How do you feel? Um, yeah, it's just over four weeks since the operation. Um, the, the main thing um, is the terrible pain that I had in my chest, constant pain, is gone. And that had been going on for quite a while. So, I, I noticed that more or less straight away afterwards. Um, I didn't know what it was like to be without that pain, so that's nice. Um, but to know that I haven't got the time bomb, if you will, inside me, um, it's been stabilised now, so it takes it definitely takes a weight off. The operation was done in two, two um, theatres, if you will, one with CT scanning um, and one for more surgical, and both theatres had a cell salvage machine, um, and both were used on me in whatever room that I was in at the time. They said I lost uh, about a litre and a half of blood, but as it came out, they put it back in through the cell salvage. Um, so really, I didn't lose that much at all. Without any of this help, then I may not even be here. You know, it might have just got me before they could help me. Um, but I'm on the right side of it now and with everything that was used and um, the, the organisation that went into it and the fact that they really wanted to help me, um, I'm so appreciative for, for all of that. Not only is cell salvage a revolutionary alternative for Jehovah's Witnesses, but it's reduced recovery rate, it's cost effectiveness and its ability to keep people donating in the future applies to everyone and should be seen as a possible solution to keeping our blood banks reserved for when they're needed most. If you'd like to find out more information on Cell Salvage, you can visit our website www.keysnews.net or you can find us on Facebook and Twitter at Keysnews. Keysnews.